Okay, so we have a set of data, and instead of doing a pivot, you want to automatically average the scores of these specific names. So we're going to create a new sheet. We'll call it averages. Um, you'll have agent and score. Now this one is going to feed off of the list of names. So you'll want to post your list of agents. Um, you could even sort by just managers if you wanted have it to just post as special values. And we are going to do equal average ifs. We want to reference the sheet um, called date range. That's where I'm getting my data because it's pulling my specific dates for me already. Now the next thing you want to reference is what you actually want averaged. So in this scenario, we want to see what their actual score is during that date range. So we're going to average cells DI or column DI to DI. So get rid of this parenthesis. We want to do the whole thing. So we're not going to have any numbers. It'll pull the full column of data for us. Reference our sheet again. And now um, you need the column that has your names in it. So the column that this needs to match and feed those matching names, that's what we're looking for. So we're going to do F. So we'll have F to F. And lastly, um, what cell is that matching? So we need it to match A2 and so on. So we'll start with A2 here. Close. Feed it all the way down the sheet. Change it to a percent. And boom, without a pivot, we now have... Um, our agents and their average scores. Now the cool thing is because this one's a date range, if I wanted to see their score from a larger date range, um, it'll correct my data here and my averages will update accordingly. So we've got 94, 95, and 94. Um, let's go back and change this again just to May 31st, 22. And now we have 99, 96, 98. So you can see everything updates here. No need for a messy pivot table. Um, you can simply just update your date range as you go. And you can have a sheet that automatically spits out exactly your averages during that date range. Um, so hope you found this helpful.